What's up, everybody? Josh Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and wand stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Funeral Mist, entitled Hecatomb. This is released on Norma Evangelium Diaboli. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Stockholm, Sweden, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very traditional, blasphemous, ritualistic style of black metal. Uh, yeah. It's easy to say that Funeral Mist are one of the most synonymous and legendary bands to come out of Swedish black metal. This band has put out a very, very sturdy and awesome body of work, uh, most notably throughout the end, towards the end of the 90s and into the 2000s, with their demo material, then the Devilry EP, and then what I consider to be the best of the best of the best of their material with 2003 Salvation. Absolutely legendary album, legendary material, great lyrics, great music, great musicianship, just overall great craft and attention to detail. Uh, of course, uh, the last time we had heard a full length from them was back in 2007, I believe, with uh, Maranatha. A uh, very wild, over-the-top album cover, but musically, I thought it was very, very solid. I thought it was a good album. I didn't think it held a candle to salvation, but it was what it was, and it was an awesome album to listen to. Of course, everybody best knows Funeral Mist for having one very consistent and very key sort of member, that person being Ariok. Ariok, who does guitars, bass, and vocals, would later go on to be the new and current running frontman for Marduk, who of course goes by Mortis in Marduk, and he's been doing tremendous and amazing things with Marduk for a very long time now, so in the span of that time period we had had somewhat of a lull in material from Funeral Mist. And then back this past June, we got something completely out of the blue and unexpected. That being the third full-length album from Funeral Mist entitled Hecatomb. It just dropped out of nowhere. No hype-ups, no announcements. Boom, there it was. And upon the opportunity of finally getting to listen to it, I was able to have had a good friend of mine hook me up with a copy of it. And now here we are with the third full-length from Funeral Mist entitled Hecatomb. It's 8 tracks, and it clocks in at around 43 minutes in length, and honestly, every time I've listened to it, I've always found something more uh, to enjoy, more to love, and more to appreciate. Um, yeah, this is easily a top 5 contender for me for best album, one of the best albums of 2018, one of the best black metal releases in general, and probably something that I will continue to be playing over and over again until the end of time. I think it's that damn good, and I think it's really wonderful to listen to. Honestly, I feel this is the album that Maranatha should have been, but a lot stronger and a lot more dedicated. I mean, once you hear the dive bomb sort of riffs on the track In Nomin Domini, you, and, all, and going from track through track throughout this entire record, you get what type of a record uh, Hecatomb is, and it's just an intense listening experience. I had such a great time listening to this album, and like I said, this is something I'm going to be playing over and over again. It has that much replayability to it. I mean, going on to songs like Not But Death, Cockatrice, Metamorphosis, the music on here is just so unbelievably well-established and well-tight-knit. I love the guitar playing, I love the riffs, I love the dive bombing, I love the, the, the intricacy that you get with this guitar and bass playing that's heard throughout this record. Everything sounds good, everything is audible, very clear, very concise, and that's what I love about all these songs and songwriting. Even the lengthier tracks that are on here, once again going to songs like Cockatrice, Metamorphosis, and then the closing track, Pallor Morris, Mortis, I think. Um, unbelievable musicianship to be heard on here and um, many people don't realize how talented of a musician uh, Ariok is uh, Mortis is or whatever you want to call him he is so awesome at what he does here and he brings so much passion and fury into this album it is so awesome 
The drumming on here is infectious all the way through. Uh, a lot of great pacing, a lot of awesome double bass, a lot of awesome blast beats. Um, once again, going to the song Not But Death, I love the drum performance on that song. It's very uh, infectious, very ritual, ritualistic sounding. I love the way the drums are on that song. But then again, you get some drumming that's very reminiscent and important in the sound of Funeral Mist, and that is just a lot of heavy blasting, a lot of great sounds. I love the snare, I love the double bass, I love the fills. It's just very, very creative stuff and very awesome to listen to. And when it comes to the vocals, Ariox vocals are very awesome here. I love the fact that there's a lot of emphasis here on his lower register, because if you know Ariox, Mortis, whatever you want to call him, you know him for his high, raspy sort of growls. It's really awesome, but he has a really good lower register here that just sounds so scary. It sounds so awesome. Going back to the opening track in Nomin Domini, his, his, his lower register sounds scary. I love the fact that he has that, that deep, low, guttural sort of voice going on. It's really awesome to listen to. But then again, you get... This, the vocal style that you best know uh, Ariok for here on Hecatomb. It just sounds great. I love his vocal deliveries. I love his, his just how paranoid and crazy he sounds here. I absolutely love that about his vocal performance here. It's just really stunning to listen to. Um, going throughout the, the majority of the record, you you get the 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 intensity of Ariok here. It's just really awesome. And I love the little bits and details on certain tracks. Like you hear the singing parts on the track Not But Death. And then on the closing track Palor Mortis, you hear what I feel like you hear you hear kids singing the chorus of the track. It's just really crazy to add those little extra nuances of those songs. But um Going back to Ariox vocals, it's really, really a phenomenal performance, and honestly, I do enjoy his work here more than I do the new Marduk, and the new Marduk is still a great album to listen to, so overall, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this album, I still think this is completely unexpected and out of the blue, but uh, Hecatomb is easily one of my favorite black metal albums of 2018. Funeral Mist made an unexpected return, but I think this was absolutely for the best. If you're a fan of Funeral Mist, I definitely think you will be enjoying this album for now and many more years to come. So, if I had to think of any personal favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say In no Mean Domini, Not But Death, Cockatrice, and um, Metamorphosis. Just some really, really killer songs all the way throughout here. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the um, Funeral Mist Bandcamp page where you can listen to this album in its entirety. Hear it for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it, buy it digitally, and to the best of my knowledge, the CD is still readily available from the band. I'm pretty sure in the United States you can pick it up through... Um, Season of Mist or Ajna Offensive. The vinyl version is sold out. The vinyl sold out very quickly. But like I said, I had a friend of mine hook me up with a copy. This is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And I'm hopeful that this will get a second press because more people need to have this. Very gorgeous matte finish on this jacket here. Back cover with track listing. You have the gatefold here with Mr. Ariok himself. Absolutely badass. It comes with this nifty little eight-page booklet here. There you see these three little dudes here. When you open that, you get more artwork. You get lyrics for all the tracks. Very, very killer job done here. And I believe all the uh, copies of this record come on a black vinyl. Very good quality, as per usual, through Norman Evangelium Diaboli. But yeah, I hope this album gets a repress uh, as far as vinyl is concerned because this is an album that everyone needs to own on any sort of physical format. Give me just a second. And all right. Again, the album is Hecatomb by Funeral Mist. This is released on Norma Evangelium Diaboli. Go check this one out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a very, very strong 9 out of 10. Easily a top 5 album for me. This could end up being even higher than that. I love this album so damn much. So if you happen to have heard this album, definitely let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it, and how you think it compares to previous Funeral Mist releases. Or any of you guys into Funeral Mist, definitely let me know. I'm going to conclude this review. That's all for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Out.